Next question is from Jay Canales 140. What are some good strategies you guys have done or do when trying to study a certain topic? Oh, I, I talk about this all the time. I, you know, what's funny is uh, I, I learned what I'm about to communicate. I learned part of this when I first became a personal trainer. I started to realize that because I was teaching fitness to my clients, mm -hmm. I was actually learning it better because in order to communicate something, you have to really understand it well. So oftentimes when you learn something, you think, oh, I know this. Well, now see if you could teach it. The process of trying to teach it gets you to understand it more fully. So that's step number one for me is when I'm learning something, and, and I'm sure people around me can sometimes be annoyed by this, but when I'm into something, I talk about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, come, I debate about it. I discuss about it. Part of that is the learning process uh, for me. And it helps me really learn what I'm learning. The other side of this, the other point that I'll give is this. When you develop an opinion on a topic, um, seek out an opposing opinion. And I don't mean seek out a crappy opposing opinion. Find somebody who you think has the best chance at changing your mind. Find somebody who does a really, really good job of arguing the opposite. And that will either help you develop your opinion more fully or you'll change your mind because they've done a good job. I don't even think you have to go that far. I mean, we're spoiled today. Um, this it's how I Google now. So if I have and, and name anything, uh, you know why why uh, eating meat is bad, why eating meat is good. I always just right right after yes. I Google what I'm interested in, I Google the opposite of mm -hmm. that statement. Mm -hmm. So whenever you're searching topics, mm -hmm. just do that. And what's so amazing about Google is the stuff that is that people are sharing that that is backed will normally surface towards the top and I'll go th and I won't just read the first article on the top mm -hmm. I, and definitely pay attention if it's an ad versus something that is organically surfaced to the top of Google and I'll read that whole first page all five blogs and articles or studies related to that topic and I'll I'll put in maybe the the belief that I have or the question that I have and then I will then right afterwards Google the opposite that support or that is trying to support the opposite side of the argument and then read all the all, all that supports that and i think that everybody should train themselves to do this and i think it's so amazing that we have this resource now that this didn't exist just 15 20 years ago no, it was hard yeah. it was very hard you would have to seek out and a lot of times you end up reading a bunch of books that never got to your answer where you can literally just google specifically you know whatever it is that either confirms your bias and then the complete opposite and don't just stop by reading one. You know, I read a handful of articles and studies and blogs that support it, and then then I take it to the next level. After I've felt like I've informed myself, now I go have that health. And this is what I love about our relationship because even though the three of us may seem like we agree all the time on the podcast, a lot of times we debate stuff all mm -hmm. the time. We talk, and you probably heard more of it early on, but we we do that all challenge each other and hear opposing uh, ideas on it. I think that's the best way to learn. Yeah, I like I like to uh, read or, or listen to uh, podcasts or you know audio books and then really digest uh, what I'm. Uh, you know, I, I want to take my time really to you know to let it resonate and then see what those the, the main points are. Then take that and then discuss it in a conversation and try and find holes in it, uh, and then go look for something yes. in an opposing argument. But I think um, there's there's like a time period for me to really um, you know sit and and meditate on you know what really uh, what was trying to be conveyed. And and for me, it might take a little longer uh, to then go to teach it, which is something I, I I definitely agree with. I think teaching it is where you really start to understand something uh, because then now it's like I've taken the concept I'm a, I've, I've applied it you know I, I've meditated on it but now I'm trying to then uh, you, you know duplicate that by presenting that to somebody else and, and am I doing a good job in that or do I really not understand yeah, so so to put it simply seek out different ways of thinking about the same topic so what because people think thinking and they think it's all the same it's not you have thinking in your mind there's thinking on paper no joke if you write Try this. If you ever have an idea or you're, you're mad at somebody, you're pissed off at your friend, write it out. Write out what you feel. And what you'll find is you start to process things a little bit differently because it's a different form of thinking. Then talk about it. Mm -hmm. Talking about it is another form of thinking. And then there's another way of thinking where you debate with someone else. Now you're getting challenged on the way you think. Those are all different ways of thinking. And if you can take a topic and bring it through all of those 
you're going to come out with uh, a lot of confidence in kind of how you feel because you've you've gone through all those different things. But this requires open mindedness. When I seek out debates on topics that I'm learning, I seek out the PA. I typically do this online. I'll, I belong to these groups and. I'll see somebody debating something, so I'll go on and I'll, I'll debate it. I'm, I'll typically find the person who does the best job. And I'm literally, my this is what I'm saying. I don't say this literally to the person, but this is essentially what I'm saying. I'm saying, change my mind. You know, it would be like if you go to a, it's like if you, if you go to a car dealership and you tell the salesperson, if you can sell me this car, I'll buy it. That's literally what I'm saying to the person. Look, if you can convince me, I will be on your side. So do your best job convincing me. And then we go and we have this discussion debate. And if they fail, it's because I'm more confident in my opinion. And if they succeed, well, that's phenomenal. I'm now better off than I was before. The, the other thing this takes, and I think this is why people struggle with this a lot, is courage. It takes courage to put yourself out there and stand behind something oh, so and know that you may be wrong. It's a, But just you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with... Hey, I, I think this is how I believe, and this is what I've read, and therefore I'm going to have this conversation or this debate with Sal. But people are so afraid to get proven wrong or to sound or feel like an idiot afterwards that they don't do that. And I think this uh, this is a lot of you know in the, my early early twenties as a trainer. This is uh, a lot of my where my growth came from was I just wasn't afraid of that. I wasn't afraid to put myself out there. You know, even when it, when I knew I was talking to someone who was probably far more educated than I am, putting my ideas out there, getting them challenged, getting my paradigm shattered, probably being wrong, maybe even feeling like a little bit of an idiot. Mm -hmm. But okay, it's okay because you know what? Now I understand. Now I know, and now I'm smarter. Now we the, move what, forward. One place I can I can think of right now where that happened to me relatively recently was through the the the, the childbirth process. I thought up until I was a, a, an adult, I think I was 38. And I thought, man, childbirth is a super dangerous thing. It killed women for thousands and thousands of years and whatever. And we talked about it on a podcast. And I said, oh, yeah, you know, childbirth is a major killer. And, you know, thank God for modern medicine. And a midwife, now midwives are experts at child delivery. Um, you, some people think they're OBs are. OBs are actually surgeons. Midwives specialize specifically in, in, in natural childbirth. So this midwife is in our forum. She goes, Sal, you're, you're totally wrong. She's like... Actually, this is, you know, she gave me a lot of information. Now, I could have been like, screw you. And, you know, that's my, I said, you know what? She's an expert. I want to see if she can convince me. So we had this long discussion. She sent me in a, a couple documentaries. I did some more learning and I realized I was totally wrong. And it feels good. It feels good. If you, but you have to be okay with being wrong. All right. But if you're okay with it, it takes courage, dude. Then you come out of it. And man, it feels good because now I'm not wrong anymore. Now I have a better yeah. opinion about something that I was wrong about for, for so long.